Welcome to all of you in my YouTube channel English Guru. In this video, I am going to explain the chapter The Last Lesson by Alphonse Dodd. Before going to say something about the author, I would like to inform you about the text The Last Lesson. The Last Lesson is a story about the importance of mother tongue. The story is said during Franco-Prussian War. France was defeated by Prussia in the war. As a result, France districts of Alsace and Lorraine had been gone under the commands of Prussia. A new law came from Berlin to teach only Germany in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. The last lesson mentioned a village school in Alsace, France. M. Hamel had been teaching in that school for last 40 years. Due to the new law, M. Hamel had to leave the school the next day and it was his last French class for the students of the village school in Alsace. He was very sad. Before leaving the school, he tried to make the students understand the importance of mother tongue by his last lesson. This story also expresses his deep respect and love for the French language. About the author Alphonse Torre was a French novelist, short story writer and a poet. He was born on 13th May 1840 at Nimes in France and died on 16 December 1897. He is considered to be one of the most iconic names of French literature. Many of his works drew inspiration from instances of his life. His father, Vincent Dore, was a silk manufacturer. His childhood was very depressing. He wrote his first novel at the age of Potten. He began his career as a school teacher but he left his job afterwards. He is remembered chiefly as the author of sentimental tales of provincial life in the south of France. Theme of the story The themes of patriotism freedom of language and the love for one's mother tongue are predominant in the story. The story emphasizes the importance of the mother tongue for everyone and the need to realize the fact that it is our language which gives us our identity, respect and freedom. The story also tells us the fact that we value something more when it is lost. The story reflects upon the arrogance of the colonizer to forcibly take away the rights of those who are colonized. This story also draws our attention to the unfair practice of linguistic chauvinism. Main characters of the story In this story, there are mainly two characters, M. Hamel and Frange. At first, I would like to say something about M. Hamel. He is a French teacher in one of the schools in Alsace, France. He has been teaching the students for 40 years. He lives in the school building with his sister. He imparts primary education in all subjects. He loves his profession from the bottom of his heart and holds a deep sense of respect for his mother tongue. He is a true patriot. He appeals his students not to forget the mother tongue. According to him, French is the most logical language in the world. He was emotionally attached to, his, to the school and all his students. He requested the people of Alsace to protect the mother tongue as it is the key to their prison. French. 
Franz is the narrator of the story. He is a young schoolboy. He is not interested in his studies. He preferred to work than to study. His family do not pay proper attention towards his education. He dislikes his French teacher M. Hamel as he often got punishment by M. Hamel for not doing his homeworks. He was not interested to learn his mother tongue. He loves outside environment and wanted to enjoy it. He goes to the forest in search of the bird's eggs. In the last lesson, Franz finally got back his interest to learn his mother tongue, but unfortunately he had not enough chance to learn it as it was the last French lesson by M. Hamel. Background of the story The last lesson is set during the Franco-Prussian War 1870-1871 in which France was defeated by Prussia led by Bismarck. Prussia then consisted of the nations of Germany, Poland and parts of Austria. In this story, the French districts of Alsace and Lorraine have passed into Prussian hands. Short summary of the story. When the story began, we saw that French was late to go to school. He was late for the school as he at first decided not to go to the school so that he could not get punishment by M. Hamel. M. Hamel had given the students homework on the topic of participles that Franz had not prepared. He was afraid of getting punishment by M. Hamel. That's why he decided not to go to the school at first. He thought to go out of the house and to spend the time as the day was very bright and warm. The birds were chirping at the edge of the forest and the Prussian soldiers were doing their exercises behind the sawmill. But anyhow, Franz controlled his emotions and decided to go to the school. As he was already late for the school, he started his journey in a hurried manner. On the way of his school, he found a large crowd in front of the bulletin board. Franz was also very curious to know what new news came in the bulletin board. But he didn't, didn't stop there as he was late for his school. Finally, he reached to the school campus. Standing in front of the school garden, he found that the environment of the school on that day was totally different as there was extreme silence in the surrounding of the school. On other days, a lot of noise came from the school classrooms. But on that day, there was no noise. There was extreme silence. French saw inside the class and found that the children had already taken their seats and it was very difficult for him to go inside the classroom and to sit there. Anyhow, he gathered courage and reached in front of the school room and asked the permission of M. Hamel to enter inside the class. Just like other days, M. Hamel didn't scold him for getting late. He politely permitted him to come inside the classroom and take his seat. M. Hamel didn't scold him on that day. Franz was totally confused and didn't understand what was going on. Without any understanding, Franz had gone and took his seat. And he took some time to come out of his fear of punishment. When he got back his senses, he found that M. Hamel was wearing his special dress 
that he owed only at the time of price distribution and at the time of inspection. That time, M. Hamel stood up from his chair and told the students that it was their last French lesson. After that lesson, the students would not get any chance to learn French from the next day. As the order came from Berlin to teach only Germany in the schools of Alsace and Lauren. Franz was shocked to hear the news as he never thought that he would not be able to learn his mother tongue. Franz always denied to study his mother tongue as he thought that there was enough time to learn his mother tongue. But that news totally shocked him as from the next day he would not get any chance to learn his mother tongue. Franz looked at the last benches and he found that these benches were also got filled by the villagers. These benches were never filled up. But on that day, the villagers also came. Actually, the villagers came to give respect to M. Hamel for his 40 years service. M. Hamel looked very sad. M. Hamel gave the students new copies and in these copies the words France and Alsace had already been written and he gave them the writing task. On that last lesson all the students became very serious they wrote according to the comments of M. Hamel. Franz was also very serious on the last lesson. Suddenly, he was deeply interested to his subject. Earlier, Franz was not interested to learn his mother tongue. But getting the news, a huge change came into Franz's character. He suddenly became interested to learn his mother tongue. And his, his love towards M. Hamel was increased. Before the last lesson, Franz didn't like his teacher M. Hamel as he often punished him for not doing the homework. After the writing lesson, M. Hamel told the students that French, French is the most beautiful language in the world and he requested the students to protect the language so that they could remain free in their lives. M. Hamel also told the students to feel proud about their mother tongue. According to M. Hamel, as long as they would be in touch with the mother tongue, they would remain free. No one could be able to make them slave. And finally, M. Hamel finished his class and looked very sad. That's all about the last lesson.